Hello and welcome to the Dutch in channel. This is the results show and that's the results from Tuesday the 19th of March 2024. We're in the evening and it's just gone 10 o'clock. So just looking at our profit and loss sheet. If you've been following us from the 6th of March, we're now at the end of the 19th and the total profit has risen to £1,882.99 and that is 252 bets at £50 is 12,600 stakes. So yeah, we're in a, a nice shape at the moment. I don't know what we're going to be by the end of the month, but today started well and sort of went downhill as it went along as we got to the evening meeting. Could have got to £200 profit of the last one, haven't lost, but that's that's life. So let's go in and have a look. This is the proper sheet from today. Exeter started well there and made a hundred pounds profit at Exeter. And then at Weatherby this afternoon, this was a 48 pound 77 profit. And into Wolverhampton, we had a loss of 50 pounds. So in the bottom right hand corner, you can't see the bottom right hand corner, let me just move it up. There was a 98 pound 77 overall today. So again, I'm, I'm still pleased with that. And we'll start off with the afternoon meeting at Exeter, two o'clock. Stratton Oakmont was our top selection and duly obliged. So I was pleased with the run of that. The second I thought was going to take it at some point, that was Longshanks. Then our second race of 2.30 was a line through it and a no bet. And then in the three o'clock, you know, when we're always unlucky, we always get the second there, which was Iconic Muddle. Couldn't find Stormy Flight. Went off quite a short price, actually, but 3.56 was the favourite price for that. But uh, not for me, I, I couldn't find it. Then we moved into the 3.30 and 5L. Run really well and uh, just drew clear. So that was another win for us. That was our second selection. Then in the next race to four o'clock, light on the wing, another top selection for us wins. And this return favourite of 3.44. These are bet fair prices. And then in the exit of 4.30, there was a no bet in that race. So now we move over to Weatherby for the 2.15. If you're following the top selections here, Act of Authority went off at favourite at 2.51. That won easily. Then in the 2.45, we had a horse called V12. That one as well, but it, it wasn't enough money on that to make it a profit, as Raffles Wonder was a short price. Into the 3.15, Carrageen Castle, but another very easy winner. But again, one point. 5.7 on Betfair. We could only have a maximum of £50 on that one. Then in the 3.45 top selection yet again. Top of the bill came forward to this one. 6.85 was the price. And again, that duly obliged. And then in the 4.15, this was Kinder Kid. It was only one away from where we were there, but of course you can see... We had the second, Mr. Bartley, led a long way. And then Kim, the kid, just went clear. And then the quarter to five, we had no bet in that. Then it went to Wolverhampton. There was no bet in the first there either. And then in the six o'clock, I don't even know how this has gone off favourite, really. But this was Aces Wild. I had it quite a long way down. Uh, I know I backed some outsiders in that, but um, I expected better runs from some of them. Then the 6.30, this was a, another no betting race. And the 7 o'clock, I mean, you, you would have thought this was odds on favourite, this Koji that's won at 48. 
that's clear it was the biggest outsider of the evening. I gave it the come last. It's one hands and heels. So easy it won. It, you know, if you'd have been looking at that race blind, you'd have thought that was about a three or four to one on favourite. And then we moved into the half past seven, and we had Bungle Bay top selection, and this came in as well at 5.8. That went off joint favourite. And the second was the other joint favourite, Gidwa, that they came for that very, very late. And then we moved into the 8 o'clock, another easy winner. This was Luffley, Luffley Ann. This came through and won by about six lengths, I think, if not more. And then the last, it was a case of, are we going to make a £200 profit or a £100 profit? And again, we had the second, Louisiana Bay. I never thought it was travelling that well the way round, but Mirabelle, or Mirabello Bay came through and won that. So, at least, again, there was a profit. As I say, we've only lost two days this month so far. So I'm, re I'm really happy with what's going. And, um, yeah, that, that's all I can say on the show, really. But we'll be back again. We'll be trying again hard tomorrow. And um, if you've got any comments there about what you've backed today or anything, yeah, just leave them for me and I'll get back to you. And if you want to try to learn how to do Dutching, just message me for that as well. And I can explain that a bit better. Although I do it in every video every day, but it's, um, it's not as easy as some people think. So that's it with the results show, and we'll be back tomorrow night. Win or lose, of course. We're here to show you the losers as well as the winners. Okay, thanks for watching.